Hi, it's Adele Michael with another More Abundance Live. And today I want to talk to you about getting and receiving invisible assistance. So in my opinion, it is time for the Lone Ranger to retire. We're in the middle of COVID-19 here in the United States, and uh, we many of us are isolating, not going to, out to work or to, to shop. Um, life is very different. We're spending a lot of time either with ourselves or with ourselves and our family. And um, obviously challenges arise. And um, what do you do in the middle of an immovable object situation? COVID-19 is, is having its way with us. And what do we do about that? Well, in, in my life, um, in the midst of personal challenges or health challenges or work challenges, I am a really good problem solver. I love to solve problems. In fact, I will make up problems to solve them. I, I do that. You may do that too. But here's the thing. I can't solve COVID-19. I cannot solve the virus. I cannot solve the suffering. I cannot solve the economy. I cannot solve any of that. That is not in my purview. I don't think it's in the purview of any human being. And so, again, that's why it's time for us to seek more support, in my opinion. So what does it take to ask for help? And I'm not really talking about asking for help from another person, although that's really valuable. Uh, what I'm talking about is asking for invisible assistance. And what is that? Well, it depends on your belief system. You know, maybe you believe in God or the goddess, and that's who you turn to in time of need. Or maybe you really think quantum physics is, is the bomb and, and you understand waves and particles and, and so you know that your thought forms in, in influence your uh, frequency and your reality. That's proven. You know, I don't, I don't need to prove that because somebody much smarter than I have, I am, have, has done that. But you have to look at whether you feel like you deserve to ask for help and whether you deserve to receive it. Yeah, it's it comes down to that. And I know for myself for a long time, I didn't no, no not asking, not gonna ask anybody about for help. I'm gonna do it on my own. And that, you know, really that's how I was trained. I think a lot of us in the in this culture were trained that way. You know, the pioneer spirit, and we're gonna do it on our own. We don't know what kind of invisible help people had. Well, you know, what their prayer life was or whether they believed in the universe or um, whether they just had this conviction that they were going to get where they wanted to go and do what they wanted to do and everything was going to be okay. And certainly in the, in the history of this country, there have been tremendous challenges for, for a lot of people, just as there are now. But trying to go it alone has a cost. It can lead to burnout, frustration, um, despondency, giving up, thinking, I'll never do this. And so I would just ask you to look in your own life where you've given up for asking for help or where you believe that help is not, is not available. And it, again, it could be from your past or you've tried to ask for help and it didn't really happen. And sometimes that happens, and a lot of times that happens with humans, but it doesn't necessarily happen with the invisible forces, whatever you want to call that. The universe, quantum physics, a religious term, source, divine, God, goddess, whatever you want to call it. We're still talking about a force that's bigger than our ego. That, that's really the bottom line. It's a force that's bigger than our ego, that our mind, that thinks, I can figure this out. So, where can you begin asking for invisible help? And I'll give you a very silly example from my own life. I um, am the granddaughter and the daughter of engineers 
who could do anything. Really, they could do almost anything. My father built a car at 16. He didn't get a driver's license, because I don't even know if they had them back then. He built a car. It looks, you know, kind of junky, because that's all he had to work with. But he entered it in a competition, and he won, because the thing ran. So he could do anything. Um, I am not really good with household projects. You know, I've put together bookcases that kind of look like this and don't stand up very well. So I needed to put together some shelves, a storage shelf, and I got it from, from you know, the building supply company, and I got it, and I started to put it together, and it wasn't working. It was not working. Getting that first shelf on there was the hardest thing, and the little things that kept the shelf up kept, you know, falling apart. They didn't break, thank goodness. So I realized, oh, I have to ask for help. Sometimes I'll ask my dad, who's in, you know, not on the earth anymore. And sometimes he's busy. So I will ask whoever's around that knows how to do this stuff. So I had to pause and, and look up, you know, just kind of glance up and say, please help me. Please help me do this. Once I did that, it came together. And this is what I was able to build. Yeah, it stands up. So... That's a silly example of asking for help. And it's not so silly if you need to build a bookcase. And it's not so silly if you need to find an answer. And it's not so silly if you need some help. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is to begin asking for help from the invisible. And the best way, in my opinion, to do that is, again, to just glance up like leave your chin uh, parallel to the floor, but just glance your eyes up, don't strain. But what that does is it puts your brain in a more relaxed state and you are actually at a brainwave length with the intelligence of the universe. So if you're asking from a slower brainwave, not all jazzed up and not in deep sleep, but it's, it's the alpha brainwave state if you know anything about brainwaves, Looking up, which is like the meditative state of mind. Just look, gazing up and asking your question. What do I do now? How can I bring some money into my household? Who has some food that they would be willing to share with me? Whatever you need. Whatever you need. Divine, well, I call it divine assistance, but... You may want to call it invisible assistance because you can't see it, but it's there. But it, the funny thing is, it can't really come to you until you ask for it. So my request of you this week is to every day, just gaze up gently, ask for some assistance, and then be open to receiving. It may not come right away if you're asking for an answer. It may not come right away, and it may not come in the form that you, desire, that you thought it would, but it will come. And the way I know that is that I've been doing this for a long time now, and it always comes. So I would love for you to try that this week. Let me know how it goes. If you think I'm just wrong as rain, let me know. I don't think I am. So ask for invisible assistance and let me know what happens and see what happens in your life. That's it for today. I wish you very well and stay well and we'll talk to you next time.